Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our ongoing series on how to create a life operating system in Notion. Today, we're going to look at pillars. Pillars are super important. We've come a long way. We started looking at tasks with the task database and the daily action zone. Then we looked at projects. We looked at goal outcomes and value goals. And now we're working our way up the pillar to pipeline pyramid, which is the fundamental core concept of the alignment zone. The alignment zone is the dashboard in the system that aligns the high level aspirations and identity elements of who you are and who you want to be with the low level daily actions, what you do hour to hour and day to day, and make sure that those actions at the minute specific level add up to what you want to achieve ultimately over time in your life and in your family and in your business and all that. So this is how it's done. Today we're working on the pillars. Pillars are the, toward the very top of the pillar to pipeline pyramid, which is the alignment structure. Everything flows from the pillars to the goals, to the projects, to the tasks. So you've got to have the right pillars in place because everything you do across the goals, projects, and tasks is in service of a specific pillar. So you need this intentionality, this very deliberate understanding of what you're working toward. And that's what today's video is all about. And then we're going to do the video that ties it all together with the extremely important reviews, what I call the cycle reviews. We have the weekly review and the monthly review at a very minimum, and sometimes for some elements, the quarterly review, depending on how you structure your system. Those review cycles pull everything together and keep everything on track. So that video will come very shortly. But today we're finishing off the pillar to pipeline pyramid after the last several videos. So let's dive in. So jumping off from the command center, our top level dashboard, we're going to go into the alignment zone as we've done the past several videos. Now early on, we looked at the task database, which is what I call the action items here. We recently looked at the projects database, the goals pipeline, which includes the value goals database and the goal outcomes database. And today we're looking at the life pillars, the pillars database in the pillar support. So when we open this up, we see a database in Notion in a table view. This is filtered just by everything that's active. We do have a status over here on the far right. It's either active, paused, or inactive. So pretty much everything tends to be active. I mean, there's no point in the point of it even being a pillar if it's not active. But should you have something that you might want to get to eventually, or if you've just grown and changed and something that was active isn't, don't delete it. Just either pause it if you think it might be temporary or make it inactive if you're not going to use it. But jumping back here, this is everything that it's active. And I've organized these items by three types. We've got growth, business, and home slash life. So growth would be things like learning and health and fitness. Business would be things like client execution, branding and audience, business admin. Business admin is kind of a catch-all. There are going to be lots of little things, bills to pay, bookkeeping and taxes and little things that you need a bit of a catch-all for just operating your business. If you don't do them, your world can become chaotic. It can become a mess. So it's important. It's not the most exciting stuff, but it is important. The pillars are all about keeping the roof up, the lights on, your world in order. If all of these things are taken care of, your world will be in order. So that is the objective here. So giving some more examples, sales and marketing would be part of business, product development is part of business, and then home life. I have home maintenance, you know, the household, managing the household, family, so this is all about interacting with people in my family, and personal admin, which similar to as business admin was sort of a catch-all for the little maintenance things in business. In personal, there are lots of little maintenance things, but also to me it's a little bit bigger in that I would include membership groups that I'm a part of, social stuff with friends. It all falls into sort of administrating my personal activities aside from family and home management. Now, those of you who have been with the series from the beginning will notice we've got three categories here, growth, business, home life. That corresponds to the command center, which is our top level dashboard, sort of our entryway to the entire system. This was the first section specific video we did. And we talked about how there's a focus and alignment column for diving into the areas that we're really executing on focus and alignment. Those are the most active dashboards in the system. Then we have a separate column for each of growth, business, and home life. That is exactly how our pillars are organized by type. So the top level dashboard is organized by pillars. That shows you how important the pillar status is and that the organization by pillar type is the fundamental organization to the doorway or the on-ramp to the whole system. So beyond the type, everything underneath it in this pillar to pipeline pyramid is in service of one of these pillars. These are structural elements to your life. They keep things together. They keep cohesion in your life, keep you on track so you can do what matters. Projects are all linked to this database. 
habits and routines are linked to this database. And that's one of the pillar supports we're going to get to in just a moment. Now you could, now just like in previous videos, I showed you how you could have workspaces for goals and for projects. You could have a workspace for each of these pillars. I don't tend to do that. I have the workspaces at the goal level, project level, and the action item level. But you could do it if you wanted something broadly across your learning. I actually have broad themes in another vault, a vault database that I'll show you in a future video. So I don't really use these workspaces in terms of the pages inside these database items. But I have this, them set up as a database so everything under them can be linked through a database relation in Notion. And that alignment is clear and explicit and you can click through any level of this pyramid structure. And it's important because as I add a habit or as as I add a project, I have to ask myself which pillar is it serving? It's essential that it's serving at least one of them. If not, then I'm missing a pillar or that thing in, shouldn't be added as a project or a task. So it forces me to ask the right questions about whether this is a task, project, or goal that should be in my life. Now, I have been getting questions since doing the alignment zone video by people asking, how do you determine what your pillars are? Well, that's actually pretty easy. It's easier than some of the others. It's easier than the goals, for example, because these are largely the things already happening in your life. You need to break your life down into segments that have logical groupings. And the things I have here are pretty broadly applicable to a lot of people. The business one in particular might have more variety than others, but just about everybody would have a family pillar, some type of home pillar, personal admin. I don't think you can avoid that. That's just a factor of life. You've got a lot of just administration on a personal level. Learning should be a pillar for absolutely everybody. Health and fitness should be a pillar for everyone. And then in terms of business, some of them will be there for everybody. Sales and marketing, business admin. I mean, these are things if you're running your own business. If you work for a larger company and you have a more specific role in that company, you might have a narrower range. You might have fewer. So just look at what you're doing day to day and break them out into 12 or 10 categories grouped by growth, personal growth, business, and home life and work them out. You don't want too many. You could go up to 15 or so, but you don't want too few. You want them to mean something and have distinctions. You know, for some people, you know, spiritual pursuits might be one. For some people, hobbies might be one. You know, gardening, if like, you're really passionate about something, gardening might be one. You know, a specific hobby, depending on how big of a role it plays and whether it's worth having as a pillar and having multiple value goals and goal outcomes and projects underneath it. So if something, if you are really into gardening or you're really into Dungeons and Dragons, or you're really into something that's pretty specific, that could be a pillar on its own. Otherwise, hobbies or crafts or artistic pursuits could all be each of those are examples of what could be a pillar. It just depends on what's happening in your life. And then think about who you want to become. Like, do you want to leave your job and start a business? Do you want to start a new activity that maybe you want to get into cycling in a big way? Maybe cycling becomes one rather than health and fitness if you're just obsessive about that one thing. But generally, health and fitness is a good one. You, you might break health and fitness out into physical activity and nutrition separately. For me, I like having them together in the same one. So health and fitness is a combination of physical fitness, nutrition and mental clarity. So meditation and the kinds of habits and routines I do to develop clarity of thought. So that is basically pillars. It's really not that complicated. It's just these ongoing aspects of your life that need to be addressed and maintained in a perpetual way. These things are not going to stop at the end of a quarter or a year or many years. Some of them could end at some point, but they tend to go on for years rather than quarters or even a single year. And some of them will never end. Some of them are literally day one to the end of your life. That's totally fine. Now, we also have an area for pillar support. Things that are not feeding into the goals so much, not feeding into the projects, but are maintaining and enhancing these areas of importance like learning and health and fitness and product development and client execution and family. So those things, first and foremost, would be habits and routines. These are ongoing as well. I created a database here, not so much because I have a lot of them, but because it organizes them in a nice way. And of course, the pillars are connected through relational connections between those two databases. So this is important because you're being very explicit, deliberate, and intentional about defining what habits and routines you want in your life to shape yourself and become the person you want to be. So I have things like I want to wake up by 6 a.m. at the latest, aim for 5.30 a.m. To be honest, I have been off track for that lately. But the fact that it's written out as a habit and routine I want to achieve, I am going to, through my weekly re reviews, recognize that that is off track. And I'm going to bring that back into alignment because it is a deliberately articulated part of my 
explicit habits and routines. In order to do that, I need to be in bed by 10 p.m. at the latest, aim for 9.30. So your evening routine and your morning routine are part of your routines and they need to be explicit. Bullet planner and journal, data tracking, even which we did a whole video on the data, data tracking. If you wanna see what that's all about, that is fundamental too, to moving towards your pillars. That's about tracking progress that comes out of your habits and routines. So meditating, nutrition and diet, reading hour. So reading doesn't go into my task database unless there's a hard deadline I have to complete a book by, you know, for some very specific reason. But for the most part, I've got a list of books in priority in my book vault, which is another database in Notion that I'll share in a future video. But I have designated in this database, I say what the frequency is. So in the case of reading hour, it's daily. And the time of day, late afternoon or evening. It is supporting the learning pillar and it's connected to one of my vaults which is all about aggregating information across a specific topic from different sources and it's connected in some of these cases it's feeding into a goal outcome so reading is supporting my goal outcome to read and summarize 20 leading books in my field so i've got this database structured like this again i'm not using these as workspaces so there's not a lot of information inside of them it's just what you see here but this lets me lay out my day, and when I lay out my calendar, I follow the protocol established in the habits and routines table right here. Then I've got mindset. We're going to do a whole another video on mindset and identity sculpting. This is fundamental to becoming the person you need to become to achieve the goals that you have in life. You are not a fixed entity. You are constantly evolving and constantly changing. And if you take deliberate action to shape yourself in the direction you wanna go, you're gonna get there faster and you have a much higher probability of getting there at all. Because if you just let nature push you and pull you in different directions, who knows where you could end up. I like to take deliberate action to, to become the kind of person and shape the identity of who I wanna become to create the kind of outlook and framework on life that is gonna be most helpful to achieving the things that matter to me. So we're going to do a whole video on that. But mindset is a section of pillar support. And then health and fitness. The table in here just tracks my workouts. We'll do a whole video on this in the future. And I don't have one, but if you found nutrition to be something you're struggling with, I would have a database on nutrition. I'd get one of those nutrition apps, track the calories or whatever metric you're using to evaluate your nutrition, and then enter that data in either your daily tracking or your health and fitness. A lot of the pillar support happens in the daily tracking database, which we did a whole video on previously. So look back on the daily tracking video. That is essential to pursuing your pillars and executing on your pillars, as well as your value goals. In fact, my daily tracking database is such a fundamental part of pillar support that that should be here. So even if you go into my pillars, pipelines, and vaults organizational structure here, which I know I've been getting questions about that, we're going to do a whole video after we go through each of the individual pillars, pipelines, and vaults, we will then do a video on how the organizational structure works together. But suffice it to say, at this point, they're in folders by pillars, pipelines, and vaults with an aggregating dashboards folder that pulls from the pillars, pipelines, and vaults organizational structure. In the pillars folder is daily tracking. Let's just copy the link. We will add daily tracking right there. We will highlight it. We will add the link. So even if I'm not going to access it from here, it's nice to have it here because it reminds me it's part of the structure. Having the visual cues that tell you that these are the pillar supports, even if you're accessing that from a different dashboard, in my case, I access it from the action zone dashboard, which we also did a video on if you're interested. But when I pop this open and I go into habits, I'll see, yeah, okay, so mindset, health and fitness and daily tracking are all in support of my pillars. It just helps that intentionality in that deliberate alignment. So that's pretty much it. Pillars are not complicated, but they're really essential to the whole alignment structure of the system. If you have any thoughts or questions on pillars or pillar supports, leave them in the comments below. If you didn't catch the last few videos on goals and projects or the whole alignment zone, there are videos on each of those that go into more detail, especially the alignment zone. That shows how this whole dashboard is interconnected. It's sort of an overview of the entire alignment system. If this is of interest, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates on future videos. Leave thoughts or questions below and hit like if you found this valuable. I also write a newsletter called Mind and Machine on increasing human capability. I give away several of my best Notion templates to anyone who subscribes to the newsletter. You can, of course, unsubscribe at any time, but I hope you'll give it a chance. I work super hard to pack it with a lot of valuable insight. The newsletter link is below in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Lots more to come.